Today I'm going to demonstrate an alternate way of holding the yarn for knitting and purling. First I'm demonstrating the traditional way of holding the yarn. And as you can see, as I knit three here, with every stitch I have to drop the, ne the needle in my hand holding the yarn. And again, I have to drop the needle when I switch between knitting and purling. This makes it very easy to uh, drop a stitch, especially if you work very close to the tips. An alternate way of holding the yarn that I find to be much faster is to hold it in my left hand because I'm a righty, so I'm moving my yarn from the left needle to the right needle. So with this grip, I can switch between knitting and purling just by twisting my wrist. And again, setting the stitch is just a motion of the wrist and the middle finger. So as you can see here with knitting three, I don't have to drop the needles. And now switching to purling. Again, I'm not dropping the needles at any point as I switch between the two stitches, which I find to be much faster process. One thing that is worth noting for this style is when purling. With the traditional grip, the yarn is typically wrapped this way around the needle, and with this grip, the yarn wraps in the other direction. And you will still get a perfectly fine stitch that way, However, on the next row, when you put the next row in, you will notice that the stitches that were purled will have this twist, while stitches that were knitted will not have the twist. So with the twist and without the twist. And that is going to be every time you purl with this method, you're going to get a twisted stitch. Some people like that, some people don't but you should be aware of that going in before you choose which grip you're going to use.